Lift up, Rook. Rook, don't forget the bow. Keep up with him, Rook. I mean, he was. Tell it's Madness Mondays here in Everglades National Park. I brought in my good buddy Mike McFarland from the Texas Insider Fisher Report. He's the upper fresh captain. You know, Mike, they don't catch snooks and tarpon and big sharks in Lake Fork, do they? No, sir. Definitely, <laughs> definitely no sharks, no snook, and no five foot tarpons. Sometimes I wish there would be. That, that option is pretty fun. So, guys, if you want to see more, if you want to learn more, all you got to do is click on the button below. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you share it with all your friends. All right. Get ready, he's going to jump. Nurse. Nurse, Ridge. Out of all the sharks. Nurse. You can let that one go. Yeah. So that's an okay shark, right? That's a good because he's soft mouth usually. Is not well, that's a bottom feeder, man. He yeah. cleans up all the carcasses and the nasty right, right. shit, you know? He's not a predator killer. No. He cleans what's left behind. Yeah, I mean, they. if if we were lobster in or something, then maybe it'd be a problem. But because they'll eat all the lobsters out of like the rocks and everything, um, stone crabs, stuff like that, they'll eat. But he's not over he's here not. killing everything that we're trying to right. keep. Or not keep, but catch. Sure. Every fish we let go, big breeder fish. We let it go and it gets they get eaten. They get eaten. It's horrible. I mean, FWC did a great job of managing our fish, but now nobody's managing our sharks. For good luck. Don't know it's for good luck. Don't need it. That's the, <laughs> that's the kiss of death. Get him, Brock! Here, go, bro. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost
You got a 36 inch tarpon and a 36 inch snook. You just, Thank tell, you. just tell your client what you want them to do. You just throw over there, catch a trip one time, slope, and he's on. Trifecta. Tarpon, grouper, and a snook. Yeah. Biggins. And look how tall I am. You know why that is? It's because the boat's tilted like this. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed us fishing in Everglades National Park with my good buddy Mike McFarland from the Texas Insider Fish Report. Don't forget to subscribe and clip, click on the link below and make sure you follow and share it with all your buddies. Great guy.